step inside this front door. I came up with this idea to put together a candy store and an old fashioned candy store. And step back in time. I go for hard to find old fashioned candies. And Tony Vallejos took that old time feel to his decor. I just started to slowly fill the store up and it kind of accidentally turned into a little museum. But he says his massive antique toy collection then caused an issue. He was told he could potentially face a larger tax bill if those items were incorporated into his business assessment. Was this 40 or 17 or 12 thousand dollars? That much more in taxes, and that could have put him out of business. So to dodge that possibility, he took his antiques, hundreds of items, home. And I took the collection out of the store, and then the business just like. Well, it was bad. Four months later, his business suffering, Tony says the county assessor's office found a small passage buried deep in the law, exempting his collection from being taxed. This is a hard to find one. Today, Tony started the process, bringing it all back. Very happy to be able to, to bring all this back because it's been kind of a dull time without the toys. A small victory for a small business. It's nice to have this back in the store. That's now getting back to business the old fashioned way. In Fort Collins, I'm Jason Grenauer, Denver 7.